Yeah, you mentioned the, it's like a fear. It's a fear of what people might think of you, which is really interesting. Have you considered that when you express your beliefs, that anyone who really has a problem with it, essentially has a problem with you and an incompatibility with you? And so why is that something that you need to be defensive over with this thought of like, oh yeah, you know, that, that, that means I'm a bad person, so I'll quickly change myself. Have you considered what if you didn't change yourself and what if someone who did disagree with your real, authentic, honest beliefs and, and everything, that you simply just weren't compatible? I do see that point um, for sure. I think for me, it's kind of at school, as you know, especially people are very quick to kind of go onto the side where kind of the majority is and it's like, for some of my views, I feel like more people are against me than with me. So it's kind of difficult to, to you know, just like stick up for myself. Mm. What kind of person is against you? Are they successful or do they have good characters? <laughs> um, maybe not, probably not, no. Brokies, Jefferies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Jefferies are going to be against you, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, yeah. I remember, I remember saying to some friends of mine um, about a year back, kind of when I was starting to take self improvement very seriously, like, listen, you guys are like, I, was, I think I just, I was saying like, listen, you guys like just really on my wavelength. I feel like I'm just, you just, you guys just aren't helping me grow in any sense. And they were kind of like defensive against that. And it felt kind of like, because you know, it's really difficult to get friends on self improvement. And I tried for a, a little while and it just never really worked out because I, I actually watched a video that you like, just uploaded about, um, like they're not your friends and it's like if they don't have that mindset in the first place of like actually wanting to improve there's really no point trying and none of them really have that um yeah i guess it's just difficult to um when you have that only one you know the only person you know who's genuinely like big on like improving and all these people around you are like just doing these bad habits and they genuinely don't want to change it's just it's just kind of you get quite lonely you know it's like you know dragon with this this thing you're struggling with which is you can't really be authentic with your real beliefs around these people because they don't really understand do you reckon this could be an issue that would resolve itself indirectly if suddenly you had more new friends on self-improvement who so you liked it so you had a level of like abundance yeah i mean that's why i joined this community you know just to find new people um i guess it's just still a thing of like real life confrontation um just with like because i don't want here it's very safe for me to like say my mind and like no one's gonna judge me i know that um i guess it would be a lot easier if i had people who like i knew always had my back in that sense um yeah i mean i'll say <laughs> why is it so bad if someone thinks negatively of you i guess it it, it really depends who it is because I, I think maybe yeah, again, it depends. Like, if it's someone who I genuinely never speak to and it's just like the same names about me, um, you know, it's just like, okay, who cares? Like, I don't speak to them anyway, but um, I guess it just depends. It's different, you know. I would have friends who, who are also, who like were friends with people that I didn't really like very much, I didn't associate with very much just because of like how that person was. Um, Man, I just, yeah, like in school, man, I keep going back to school, but in school, I had, I had certain friends, you know, everyone's kind of like, they've got their own group, but they kind of like mix with other groups every once in a while. So, you know, like you go to a party, you see all these other people that you don't really talk to, but um, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like so I've got friends who are kind of friends with other people that I didn't really talk to. Um, so it's like, maybe I say something and then their friend, like their friends that I'm not really friends with, I can't be saying like, oh, no, this guy's a dickhead, whatever, and then they'll kind of go on their side, like, oh, yeah, actually, you're having a bit of a dickhead. It's like, bro, like, you're meant to be my friend. And you just like ditching me because, all these people you don't know, like you want to fit in mm. you know mm. i wouldn't i wouldn't totally blame them for that because the power of social influence and you know conformity is massive and so i wouldn't even say that they're a bad person for if you know if they're put on the spot like that in front of everyone and if you said something slightly offensive to someone who's, you're, who's someone who's just taking it as an offense it's like a very primal thing for your friends to like kind of say to you oh well you know you said something bad and stuff and i wouldn't say that that's someone being a bad friend i would say that that's just someone kind of diffusing like a weird social situation which you know us looking at it oh it's you know some cringe party or something it's like but it actually means a lot to young people you know meant a lot to your friends to like be there and to be social and stuff so i wouldn't think that it would be wise for us to think that your friends are bad people for sometimes you know defending someone else to try and ease some social situation in general like your friends should be supportive of you and they should have your back more than they have other people's 
if there's an argument, for example, then they should have your back. If there's a fight, they should have your back. But if it's, for example, you've said something, you know, you're at the party and then you start talking about, like, that, you know, women are this, or that, you know, people who party are this, people who drink are this, man, you all need to meditate and stuff. It's like, I'm not gonna lie, like, if I was your friend, I'd be saying it to me, yeah, this guy's weird, isn't he? But like, who meditates, bro? Like, because yeah. <laughs> you gotta know your audience. Because what you're saying is, this, there's been quite a lot of times where this has happened, where, you know, you've said something which has offended people. Now, we can help you and, you know, like, think, yeah, like, you know, screw these guys, just make friends on self improvements. But I think a faster cure to your problem is, like, stop talking about it you know this is the wrong audience these people don't understand you at all so it's like why, why are you bringing up like self-improvement related things or things that you know they find weird or you know you're talking about high value man 10 percent man and stuff this isn't the target audience for that kind of stuff it offends normal people this is why you know i'm able to freely talk about this stuff online because the people who are going to find it are generally people who are receptive to it and you're the one percent of trolls and stuff but i wouldn't ever talk i don't talk like this in person if you know if a girl asks me like oh like did you you know did you go out on, over the, the weekend i'm not going to suddenly say like, no actually alcohol's a ramen and, and you know it's really bad for your muscles and like, oh no not this weekend did you 